Metroid Pocket 2 Plus already has a compatibility list where you can find pre-configurations and recommendations to get a better performance out of your device. It's super easy to install Dolphin MMJR2 directly in your device without a computer or anything else. If you like this kind of video, let me know by liking, subscribing, sharing, or maybe comment down below what you would like to see in the future. Let's start by installing Dolphin MMJR2. The best way is to navigate to settings, system, updater, and then update your device to the latest update. After it reboots, simply open settings again, then scroll all the way down, click in handheld settings, then go to advance, and finally click at re-enter setup wizard. It will reboot once more and once at the setup wizard, just skip most of things until you see the pre-installed apps. Now you should see a purple dolphin there. Make sure to check the checkbox, click the R trigger again, and finish the setup. There's a link in the description below to the GitHub that you can see on the screen right now. If you are watching this video on your computer or cell phone, I recommend you click on the link, save it in the bookmark so it's easier to access this bookmark on your device and download it directly. If the green button doesn't show up, just click the three dots on Google Chrome and select the checkbox for a computer-based website. For some reason, I can find a download button in Android mode. Now for the last step, we need a file manager. You can choose whatever you want. I use Solid Explorer in all my devices. I really love how they organize in two tabs, so it's easier to drag and drop. In the tab from the left, I navigate it to download folder. And on the tab of the right, you should navigate to the folder MMJR revamp and then config. Back to the tab on the left, I could extract the zip but Solid Explorer can also access zip files without extracting. So just click the zip, then click the folder, select the first two files, the .ini, just click on the icon and they should be selected, then click copy on one side and paste on the other side. That's it. Now all we have to do is open Dolphin MMJR2, press plus to scan for games, select your GameCube folder, Usually in my devices, I create a games folder on the base of the device and in there a NGC folder with my games inside. I have three games here, I will select this folder and voila! One last step, we should probably remap all the controllers. So inside Dolphin, in the controller icon on the top, just click it and then select controller 1, emulate it and map each one of the buttons. Normally, I recommend using the Z button at L2 or R2 doesn't matter. Everything else is just the usual and the triggers, I put both L and L analog in the trigger button L. The same thing for the right side. Remember to save it, click the flop disk on the, on the top right, open a per game and BAM! It's pre-configured, should run the best performance possible found by the community. And that's it. Many games work like that. Here in my channel there is a playlist just for the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, full of performance testing and gameplay. There is a link in the description down below and there is also another link for the compatibility list made by the community that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Amazing list, very complete, full of suggestions and most of the games the suggestion is to use the community pre-configured files. What you just did here in this video. If you're from Brazil or you need any help, don't hesitate to go to my Discord, the link is also below. There's over a thousand hetero gamers there that could help you. Not everyone speaks English, but we can figure it out. And again, tell me in the comments down below if you would like more videos like this. Peace.